Welcome to another Nearpod tutorial. In this Nearpod tutorial, we're going to look at reports and how to pull them so that you can gather data on your students. We're also going to see how we can download them as PDFs and share the reports via email. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into Nearpod. And just as a friendly reminder, Nearpod seems to like Google Chrome much better than it likes Internet Explorer. So you're going to want to use your Google Chrome browser to go to Nearpod.com and go ahead and click on Login, type in your username and password, and then you're going to click Sign In. Once you sign in, you'll be at your home page. And this time we have, well, previously we've been in the Create and Engage areas. This time we're going to go into the Assess area. Now I can see all the different presentations that I have embedded interactive features into. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one that I want to show you um, some reports and things from. So I'm going to click on this one. And when I click on that, I can see all the different times that I have activated this particular session. So I can see I did it with fourth and fifth period on Thursday, October 24th at these times and how many students uh, participated in those sessions. And I can see that I did it with sixth, seventh and eighth period on Wednesday, October 23rd. So I'm going to select my class and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to pull a report for me to take a look at here. So this is the summary report. So when I scroll down, I can see all of my students and I can see that in this particular Nearpod presentation, I had two different types of interactive features. I had a poll feature, which might have been a multiple choice question or it could have been an open ended question. And I had a draw it feature. Now in this particular Nearpod, I actually had three draw it features. So I just wanted to, to mention that to you because you'll only see one column of how many, how many kids participated in those particular interactive features. So if you want to kind of look at them individually, you're going to want to click on these different areas up top. So we're currently in the summary report area. Had I given a quiz in this Nearpod, my results would be here. I did not embed a quiz. That was not one of the interactive features in this particular Nearpod. So I'm going to move on to poll. OK, I can see that I had a poll question. My poll question for this particular Nearpod was an open-ended question. And it was, why do societies have governments? That was my warm-up question for the session. So I'm, I can click on this and open up my students' individual answers. So as I scroll down, I can see what each child typed in and said. And again, this was my, my warm-up question. So I had the students discuss in their groups why they thought societies had governments and type in an answer to that question. So I can see each individual student's answer. I can also see that one student did not answer. So what I see over here is basically 92% of my students in this particular class responded to this question and 8% didn't. It doesn't mean 92 kids did and 8 kids did not. I think this is percentage. Okay, now I'm going to click on my draw it's because I know I had several of them. I actually had three different draw it's in this particular Nearpod. So I'm going to click on the first one so that we can take a look at it. And as I scroll down, I can see that each student in my class submitted a drawing. And what's neat about this is I can actually click on their drawing and I can see exactly what they drew. So they were supposed to take a look at this diagram. They were supposed to label each of the circles. Was it the central authority or the regional authority? And they were supposed to give it a title as to what type of distribution of power this particular diagram showed for government. So this student got it correct. He said con it's a confederate um, distribution of power where the central authority has very little power in the center and the regional authorities are all um, ex exerting their power onto the central authority. So he has the R's outside and the C inside and he has the title here. So I can close this out and I can look at each individual student's answer and see if they got it correct or incorrect. Oh, they like to do their little artwork. 
um, or see if I need to pull them to work with them or reteach anything. And as you can see, I can scroll down and see everybody's response. I could also select the next draw it feature that was in this particular Nearpod. And just like the previous one, I can see each individual student's answer as well. Now, what is really neat about this is that we can take a look at the entire report all together. So I'm going to go ahead up here. These are your two options. You can share it via email or you could download the PDF. Um, if you just want to use it for your quick information, you can pull it up and look at it yourself. If you want to actually keep the artifact of it, you're going to want to save the PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and I'm going to download a PDF version. Okay, and I see my PDF is right down here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when I do, I get this beautiful color PDF with all of my students' names, and I have my little summary here, and I can scroll down and see each of their individual answers for the poll, Why Do Societies Have Governments? I can continue scrolling down and see Whoops! each student's individual drawing. Now this is a PDF, so I'm not going to be able to click on the drawings to make them any bigger than they were before, but I can see everything that they did throughout the entire session. So all three of the Draw It features are here in the PDF report and their answers to the open-ended question are all here. So I can actually save this now. So I can say File save as, save as a PDF, and now I can save it to wherever I want to on my computer. I can save it to, let's see, save it to my C drive. I'll just save it right here. And now that I've saved it, I could actually email this to one of your assistant principals. I could email this to um, my PLC chair so that we could discuss it in PLC and compare and contrast each of each of our students and how they did on this particular assignment. Or I could upload it to the Teeks portal as an artifact. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now how you can share it straight via email without having to download the PDF. You would click on the share button and you would type in the email address here. So if I share it with myself, I would just type in the email address and it says that I've shared a Nearpod report with myself. And I'm going to click go and it will share it with me via email. It says your email was successfully delivered. Okay, so that's uh, reports, Nearpod reports. I can just X out of here and I can take a look at any of my other ones. And that's Nearpod reports and how to download a PDF version or how to just kind of look at what your students said in their interactive features. I hope you found this helpful.